All right, how's it going? Everybody's alone is here back in the verdant brink and we are doing the ordinance outpost meta event now this one takes place as far um, West as you could possibly go and I have honestly never been over here aside from gathering some points and some hero points I have not participated in any of these events before, so this is all going to be brand new to me. And it's kind of embarrassing because it's the very first map of the expansion. And <laughs> admittedly, never done anything. And it's a very interesting little area here too, I have to say. Shit, hopefully I can get some help soon. Okay, he's just going to keep spawning, so it's going to be the same thing as the... Shit. Oh, he's almost dead. We got him. We got him. Come on. Come on. Shit. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Oh, great. And the the damn point's so far away. So the objective is pretty much the same as it's been in the other beginning metas. is destroy the breachers, uh, which signifies the morning time. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Thankfully, we got a glider to cut some corners. Um, as you do, if you may have noticed, I am alone <laughs> again. Uh, my buddy Andrew, who has been accompanying me on these metas, is working. How dare he? So that's kind of why I've been behind on doing finishing up these meta events. So hopefully, after we're done with the Verdant Brink, uh, the Orc Basin. We'll go by pretty quickly because it's all one giant meta event and it's really fun to do if you guys haven't done it. Um, so far, these have been pretty entertaining too. Um, I would recommend if the map bonus is Shining Baubles to go ahead and just participate in the meta events. Just throw yourself and have fun and fucking die. God damn it. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna keep dying non-stop. Just bear with me, guys. <laughs> Eventually I'll get it though. Even if I have to complete the entire meta by myself. This one should be short, like the Pale Reavers one. Which actually was really cool. Now, as far as where this falls in into the story, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know obviously they're part of you know the pact, so you fucking Christ. You have to save them no matter what. Shit, where'd he go? Um, so there's that, but as far as what importance they have as far as progression goes, we'll, we'll have to find that out. Ooh, thank God he did not regen health, but look at how many people he spawned. That is way too much. Oh my God. No, this is too much for me. I can't do this alone! The third breacher was destroyed by someone else. God, my God, I'm gonna die over and over and over again. Can you. Can you. What? Why is there no anvil nearby? Come on, man. Whatever. So, for those of you tuning in. I just want to say um, I know it's kind of weird that I haven't been posting. Um, I've been feeling really weird I, and I kind of explained in one of my Subnautica videos um, that's going to come out after this. <laughs> so um, I was posting the Hammer Watch videos and just something that was easy because I've been so busy at work so I thought you know you guys would enjoy a little 8-bit dungeon crawling fun. Um, it's a really good game. I got it on sale. I got it at a, at a, a four pack so, I just gifted the other three to a bunch of friends. Strong. Oh, finally, thank God. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really fun game. Um, you're just crawling around. It's a top-down um, dungeon game. The Ordnance Corps airship crashed. Their survivors have taken refuge in the cave. Talk to Chief Officer Shashu. Where the fuck is he? Where is he? They tell me to talk to this guy, but I don't know how to get to him. Obviously, it's in a cave somewhere, but where? Oh my god, if I... Where is he? 
outpost, the ordnance core. Oh my god, I've never done this. Stairs down. I guess I can go that way, sure. It says this dude's in a cave, but fucking what cave? Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know where the hell he's at. Unless he's over here. Oh, hello. This is a new area. Can't believe I'm still alive. Chief Officer Shasho is a <laughs> a quaggin. Nice. Joshua, we're sitting ducks here. What are your orders? <laughs> orders? Quaggan must give orders? Oh, God. You're the chief officer now. We need to do something. Easy there, Arkham. Give her a chance to catch her breath. <laughs> your oh, orders, sweet Anvil. Perhaps we should establish a defensive perimeter. Dig in, and then contact Pack Command. Perimeter. Barouche? Yes. Good idea, Barouche. Set up some perimeter defense towers. I'll get our tacticians on it at once, ma'am. I like the Tango. Tower the entrances. Do you guys like the Tangu? I think they're pretty cool race. A defensive perimeter. Oh shit. Protect the vigil tacticians. Such a such a calm, nice voice. I've never done this. This is exciting. Commander, can you help us? So now they're building a what defensive towers? This is a really cool area, guys. I've never been here. I don't know if any of you guys have visited down here. This is very interesting. Let me show you real briefly. Yeah, look at this. All the way to the west side of the map. You know, most of the other stuff happens all the way around here, but... Never have I been over here. <laughs> you are not welcome here. Alright, so now I just need to defend this guy from these fucking asshole frogs. Of course. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Jesus. Oh, the Tangu guys. I, I want that to be a playable race sometime. At one point, they need to introduce the Tangu, open up the the walls, and just let us into their great haven. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. And make Tangu a playable race, because they're very... They're very anthropomorphic, and I think armor would look fine on them, and it, it, would, it would work out. Probably a little bit better than the Char, too, even. Uh, they're a little more stand-up-ish, if that makes any sense. But let, let me know what you guys think. You guys think the Tangu should be a playable race or not? Or do you guys are, are you guys opposed to that shit? You just hate birds and you refuse to acknowledge the Tangu as, as a, a viable race. <laughs> I have seen some people talk about the Skrit, how they don't want the Skrit to be... Oh, God, this is going to be hard. There's three different towers being erected. Um, but some people want the script to be a playable race. <laughs> that would be really weird. And even these frogs can be, I mean, anything really, really. That are just introducing a, a whole nother race altogether. That would be interesting. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch! I fucking hate these frogs. The Hylix. Just the the, sh the shadow stepping ones. They're such a pain in the ass. I, I will say though, if you ever get stuck in between two of these stompers, you're basically screwed. They're just gonna keep CCing you into oblivion. And God, does do oh shit! Okay then. <laughs> They'll just keep CCing you, knocking you down. Bam! Look at that shit. Mmm. Hell yeah! Hail to the king, baby! Grab these airship parts. These are always good to have, guys. The hell? Alright, third wave. Bring it. Bring it. Is that tower done yet? Nope, somebody died. Oh shit. What's that? A flopper? He looks like a goofy fella. Oh, more of these shadow steppers. God damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, we got this, guys. Oh, shit, maybe not. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, thank God, someone came. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it out, though. Oh, thank God. Oh, shit. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! So it looks like the northern tower is done. So that's good. 
I think that's what this little chest is. Yay! Crowbars! God, listen to that music. Hell yeah. Woo! Alright, now we got someone else here. Sweet, we got a three-man team. Four. Maybe not. I don't think he's joining us. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh, maybe he does. Oh, shit. What is this thing? A stomper? Oh, another stomper. I guess each of the three towers gets the exact same amount of enemies and types. How creative. <laughs> I gotta say, so far... The Verdant Brink has been... Um, as far as meta is really nice you know it's a really good way to introduce the player to the dynamic of the maps and just kind of have a good time with them definitely enjoying this one too I'm excited and I can't wait to do the itzel either that one is probably my favorite one although the Pell Reavers was pretty fun if you guys haven't seen that one it's the previous one to this one more wave Right, last wave. And I have max Head experience. I need two more. more to be done there. Okay. Oh, damn. These towers are legit. Holy crap. Oh, they took so long. On to the third tower. Wherever the hell this thing's at. That's the Farron Flyer, right? The Noble Waypoint? Protect the Vigil Tacticians. She's talking to me through like a like telepathy or some shit. <laughs> oh my god! It's just the same thing over and over. At least we got at least we got a small team going on. This is good. I'm wondering if I should throw up a commander tag though. What else? So, should be two of the small frogs and one big one, and I think it's gonna be Smasher, right? For the second wave? God, Jesus Christ. It was a crusher, I was right! Alright, last. Oh shit, Christ. Damn it! That's not crushing, that's the swipe. That's bullshit. Always make sure to eat all the shrooms. Doesn't matter if they're good or bad for you. Just fucking eat them. Come on, man. The people want to see more violence. Who wants to hear about me talk? Or. <laughs> what did I just say? Nobody wants to hear me talk. You know what? So, we have the Tengu and the Skrit. Now. Kodan, that'd be another interesting race to play, right? I think the Kodan don't get enough credit. They're they're very limited as far as armor and types, though. I've only ever seen two types of Kodan. Fuck, I'm gonna go down again. And I'd like to see a lot more than that. I gotcha. Oh shit, there's so much poison here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. You kidding me, man? Okay, come on, 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 come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know he was almost dead. He could have just done a rally. Fuck. Will it ever end? You owe me your life. That's right, thank you. <laughs> God, I hate the shadows. Shadow leapers. They're called shadow leapers, not steppers, guys. God damn it. Egg on my face. All right, what's next? Let's get this show going. It's barely the beginning of the outpost process. <laughs> Would have gone a lot faster if there was people actually spread out. Let's see, the last one should be a flopper, right? Or was that just a flopper? Is this a stomper? Nope, oh, it's a flopper. I was right. It's the exact same wave groups. All right, flopping bitch. Gotcha! 
So are these uh, are these guys in cahoots with the Mordrum? Because they just passed a, a group of them. Oh, you bitch! You dirty bitch! Oh, I wish you could push them off. Why can't I push them off? Oh shit! Jesus, that's a big long tongue. That's what she said. Shut up. Okay, there we go. Oh, damn. They made short work of those frogs, man. So, yeah, guys. Um, Hammer Watch. Great game. Check it out. Check out the... Uh, it's it's going to be like a seven-part series, I think. Um, it's really fun. You know? If you guys are interested, um, I think it might be on sale. I'm not 100% sure, though. It got out a while back ago. It usually goes on sale a lot. But it's a, it's just a simple ass eight bit dungeon crawler. That's all it really is. And the fun is in playing with other people. And I think it's randomly generated, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So don't quote me. Um, but there's a lot of different classes you can play and different things you can do and different play styles. And it's not too in depth as far as RPG goes, but it's something to fun to pick up and start playing. Um, you can't really save, though. At least I don't think you can. That's kind of the bummer. So you have to play it all the way Head through at once. Outpost. Oh, shit. Take it from here. Okay, thank God. I thought I was going to be stuck in there. Alright, back to the outpost, guys. Let's go. Alright, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please let me know. And I will see you again.